Good morning. It is another beautiful day outside of wall to wall clouds and not humid and moist weather, thank goodness. I was able to keep my silver one rank yesterday. Shockingly, I got, got helped by a wonderful viewer who, uh, who helped me not spam for stuff. But I still appreciated it. And we're gonna try and... I'm going to try and remember what he told me about early game. Because my early game sucks. It sucks, balls. So, he said, just pick pairs, try and get two stars, don't worry about synergies in the beginning. And I'm like, alright, alright. I can try that. It's hard, because I'm so focused on synergies and, like, my end game kind of thing. Oh my goodness, someone keeps declining the invite. Estimated wait time was 1.15. I think I got my first acceptance on, like, Estimated uh, wait time was 1.15. I think I got my first acceptance at like 30 seconds and I've just been having to accept ever since. And now we're at 126. <laughs> so I guess I guess the estimated wait time was was appropriate. My nose is stuffy today for some reason. My dog is licking out the inside of a can of dog food that we gave them. Having the time of her life. I have eggs. With cheese and my coffee. Should be good. Should be good. Let's not lose LP today. Well, that's not true. We can lose LP today. Let's try not to go down from silver one. Let's try and end the season as high as I possibly can. Without giving up my, you know, not wanting to follow the meta and emblem bullshit. Because I still did that yesterday and won. Someone has a potato. We're sitting at 95%. See, and this is why I always have my breakfast when I'm playing TOT because sometimes this takes forever. Oh, of course, just as I say that. Try and pick someone who is helpful at the same time not being a hindrance. Rage played right after the bat. Not too shabby. And not to offend any Norwegians, but I did put my eggs in lumpa with some cheese. I know it's meant for hot dogs, but I kind of use it like a tortilla and I like it.
Good morning, good morning. Who doesn't love some cheese in the morning? Gosh, this is good. I think I leveled up. I had two minds about it. I was like, mm, I don't know if I should level up, but you know what? I did it anyway, and I'm glad I did, because this guy is also level four. And we all have level ones on the board, I believe. Yep. Sorry, B. What are we going to do? I have no idea. No idea what we're going to do. All right, we're off to a strong start. I'm impressed. Got some Cavaliers as well, too. That was nice from the shop. Figured might as well go Cavalier. Poor set sitting out in the back. That's what happens when you punch people, buddy. Enrico Kern. Sorry, dude. I 
I still only have two two stars. And a Mirage Dragon already. That is a lucky Mirage Dragon. I would have been super happy if it was actually a... Uh, um, it was a lucky Hakarim instead. Don't know if I necessarily want a Mirage Dragon now. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could, because I'm going to have try and get most Mirages. I mean, mostly um, Cavaliers to be the guy in the back. Oh, no, no. No, no. I don't know why I'm scared. Poor 20 Yasuo. That's the name. Good morning, K4. We're starting out strong. <clears throat> We're starting out very strong. Trying to remember some of the advice that the guy gave me yesterday. Or girl, I don't know. The person. The person he gave me yesterday. dragon doesn't work out, then I'm going to uh, put him back, put the Leona and the, the set back in. <clears throat> the set's not the greatest, but he is a two star, so we're going to hold on to him until we think of something better if we end up having to. But I am hoping. 50, 60, some pretty decent damage. Not bad, not bad. We're at 67 LP, and we need to get to 100. So if I manage to do well in this game, then I'd only need, I need like top four in two games. for more Cavaliers, and he's purple. I only have a 2% chance of getting purples right now. Do the level up this turn or next turn? Six, five, six. I saw two level sixes, so I just leveled. Set did a good job. Ooh, Karma's a mage. How well did she do with that? Oh, she did okay. Not the best, though. The shield over top of my characters really helps out. 5% now for Hecarim. If I got a scale score, that would be okay, too. Oh, look at that. Got an Olaf. 
Happy time to say goodbye, set. I could also just put in my Sejuani. Oh, but I have a dragon, so scale scorn doesn't matter, so I might as well just put in my Sejuani. Have I watched the She-Hulk on Disney? No, I did not. Do I want to is the question. It it doesn't look appealing to me. And as a fan of that stuff, it's the least appealing looking one. And I wish it wasn't. Did you watch it? I need a glove and there's no glove. What the heck? It's sad to me that it's the least appealing. And of course I can't get Man Peach to watch it no matter what I do. Need a sword. You're conflicted. You like the MC Universe and the I Would Actress, but the show is so bad. The lead, okay. I know, right? Okay. Same. I like the MCU universe. The actress isn't bad, but it just looks so campy. Did you watch it? Did you watch one episode or did you watch many? I don't know if it's like a time released uh, TV experience kind of thing or. Because I feel like if they hammed it up and tried to make it like super campy in a good way, then it might be okay. But it doesn't feel like that. I feel like they just made it campy and weird. She's the lead from the Orphan Black series. Only one episode is out. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to watch it then. I'll watch it tonight and let you know. So they are slow releasing the episodes then. I watched, un I finished watching Uncoupled, which is Neil Patrick Harris. That was cute. But only one season is out and it left it on a cliffhanger, which is annoying. Bad CGI, bad voiceovers for the Hulk. Did they just, like, CGI in Mark Ruffalo instead of just picking a new person? Somehow, She-Hulk is better than the Hulk in everything, even though she's a lot smaller. Yeah, well, that's that's the, that's the in the comics as well, too. She is supposed to be better, and she's supposed to break the fourth wall, and she's supposed to do all those things. So they're keeping true to her, her, um, her comic book presence, but it probably doesn't work very well.
Unlike Deadpool, they did not pull off the fourth wall. He sounds so unattached and bored. Maybe he's not a very good voice actor and he does better with uh, just being there on set. She's a lot more campy. I'm just going to have to level up, aren't I? Campy. Uh, she hams it up. She, she play acts, she play acts silly for, for the jokes, but does it in an ironic, I know I'm being ridiculous type way. Let's find the direct definition of campy. Absurdly exaggerated, artificial, or affected in an unusually humorous way. Like campy horror movies, campy horror witnesses, their synchronized routine. Mm. Yeah, that's what it means. Exaggerated kinematics. You didn't get that? My okay. Well, that's what she's supposed to be. Should I get the Twitch? It wouldn't have been terrible. Twitch or a bard? I'm trying so hard to be calm with this game. I haven't lost. I have not lost a game yet. This is my calm voice. This is me trying to not freak out. Did I want to level? Yes, I did. Can't level just yet. Is it bard or a twitch? I mean, I need a hecarim. It's only 37 minutes long. They couldn't even like push it to 50. Is it, is it a good 37 minutes or is it like, that was it? You're glad it was not long? Oof. Yikes. That's not good. 
Hmm. There's a twitch. Hey, Robra. That's my shoe. I thank you. That's, That's where it belongs. And then this is my other shoe. Learn how to put my shoes away. That would be great. Right, look, you knock it off with your tail. Because your tail is a little witch. Yeah. You will not watch the episode. Oh, you will watch it. Okay. I'll watch it today. And I'll, I'll let you know what I think. Just watch. I'm going to watch it and love it. And you're going to be like, the fuck is wrong with you? Is it uh, once a week episodes? You <laughs> can't wait for my feedback. <laughs> because it will either be in unison with yours or <laughs> you will just call me a dum dum. <laughs> Every Thursday, okay. Thank you for the Hecarim. We'll put in the Twitch. Hecarim should be back here. Ooh, I like the Bard. Sorry, Twitch. I think we're in a good spot. You'll rat me out. <laughs> You'll rat me out to the rat. I'm sure he'll understand. just eliminated someone. I haven't lost a round. My highest winning streak is 19. And I couldn't go anymore because I won that. If I could actually start getting some golds, that would be good. My poor Hecarim and Nunu. Shame, it's not really going to help you. And bloop. I love seeing that alt do, like, mm, I'd say 70% of everyone's HP. Got a little bit of healing on the Deja. Still doing good. I kicked another person out of the game. I am so sorry, everyone. 17, two more, and I'll beat my, my, my all-time best of 19 wins. Hi, Lissa. That was with my monkey brain. That's when, um, 
Happy Nightmares called me a monkey brain because it wasn't supposed to work. And I had a 19 win streak with my Sona being a carry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not sorry. And I didn't choose his eat us and the uh, corky carry. I just went straight up Sona in a corner. And she murdered everyone. Oh, Hecarim turned back, so he didn't freeze everyone, but that's okay. Bard caught up. Oof. Oof. use any of this really any of this is helpful but at this point I'm just gonna bully the enemy team like bramble vest on Nunu would have been good anti CC on anyone would have been good Talon is level two, right? Yes, he is. Oh, we both got bards, but my data wasn't affected. Oh, am I not going to win this one? Is this going to be the last one? Nope, I still win this one. That was a close one. That one was close. I was scared there for a minute. I gotta level up some characters. Make them hit harder. I just put you back in the shop, sir. beat this guy before. Always trying to CC my Talon. Come on, Hecarim. Everyone's frozen. Ulti straight through the middle. Come on, come on. The Gnar. Oh, we're fighting the Gnar. Guys, you're not supposed to focus on the Gnar. Or the, the Nico, sorry. Gonna move my my Lulia over, but that's okay. My talent's gonna make quick work of that Deja. <sighs> I 
<laughs> my Cavaliers just move it out of the Mars ultimate. <laughs> oh boy. So I fought Dan to lose. Oh, I'm gonna fight him again. I didn't even realize that he had a um a Nomsky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Deja's gonna ult. He's gonna kill my Nunu. Oh, he didn't. to beat him once more. Just once more. Didn't hit the didn't hit the Deja with the the Shroud of Silence or whatever it is. We both have level two bards. Oh, I got the stun off. I won a game without losing a single round. I just got promoted to gold. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's never happened to me before. I've had like a really good win streak, but I've never won a game without losing a single HP. Holy shit. See, you wanted a winning stream. I got a winning stream for you. You can turn it off now. <laughs> we hit gold. You're like, I'm done. My work here is over. We hit gold.
Do 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 do. Oh, it, yep. I, I still don't know what to say. Like, I just can't believe that happened. First first game of the day can't go downhill from here So, what's on the menu today? Wait, your mom is coming over today. What time is she over? I know, I just slipped my coffee, I'm sorry. Only assassin builds the rest of the day. <laughs> Two o'clock. That's not bad. You have enough time to fully wake up, clean your apartment to your liking, get ready, get mentally prepared, which is all I always have to do. Oh, 16. Yes, 16 is 4. For some reason, I thought it was 2. So, for some reason, I thought you said 14, and then I thought it was... And then did that... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But yes. Done golfing. She's a golfer. I tried it. My father really wanted me to like it. It is not my thing. She's golfing every Tuesday and Fridays. That's good. Nice to have a hobby. Man Peach made me a wooden, it's basically just a bunch of pallets like stuck together, but it it's right outside the door, so I don't have to trudge to the opposite side of the yard to gather up some wood for the winter time. We do have like a wood thing inside here, but it only carries maybe a week's worth of wood. 
and we like to keep it stocked up so that it stays nice and dry for the winter. Um, but the rest of the wood he put literally on the opposite side of the, the, the house. So, um, so he built me like a little thing outside that's right outside the door. So I don't have to walk all the way over in the snow in the middle of winter just to get some wood. Because he likes making fun of my unbalanced nature. She started golfing quite late. My dad has always liked golfing. I don't know why. He tried getting us into it. He took us all out. He took us all fishing. He took us all, like, you know, the things that dads do, but it's not my thing. Not something I've ever really enjoyed. He has more level twos than I. I'm not going to win this one. Oh, what is the Mirage? I didn't even look. Attack speed. Should have kept it. She kept the young. Only one bowl. Small wood deposit. Yeah. He put a bunch of wood on it and then it started bowing, so then he put uh, he put some support underneath it. Glad she got a hobby that she can go and be a bit active. Me too. It's always nice. My mother does... We got her... It was my idea. And then my brother stole my idea and got it for her. And then gave me the credit. So, But it was the middle of COVID and my mother was bored. She couldn't stand being in the house. She would honestly get in the car and just drive around for aimlessly. And um, all of her friends had moved away. And so I got her... Well, I thought of getting her a paint by numbers... Because she could, she likes painting, she likes being creative, she likes flowers and stuff too. So I thought I'd get her a paint by, and I bought her flowers every single Sunday during the, like the first eight months of COVID. Because I was working at the grocery store and every Sunday I would just buy some flowers on my, at the end of my shift and bring them to her and, you know, stop by for 20 minutes while I stood outside and chatted with her and gave her flowers. And so we bought her paint by numbers and now she has paint by numbers all the time. Oh my God, he... He leveled up at the expense of his HP. He did it. Oh, spicy man. It's working for him so far. Paint. Paint by numbers. So now she's done so many paint by numbers. She's given a couple to my brothers. She's given a couple away. She has them all over the house. She keeps doing, she was just doing flowers for a while, but then she moved on. We got her like a watercolor type self-portrait lady. She did a landscape. She really likes it. So my mom does paint by numbers. 
my dad does photography, and they both just bought e-bikes. You don't know what paint by numbers is? It's like when you're a child and you have like the picture and it's like there's different sections that are that have a number one and number ones are supposed to be red. And then some of the sections say number two and the number twos are supposed to be blue. And you paint it and it slowly becomes a painter. Uh, a painting. Yeah, those. And they both just bought e-bikes. So they've been e-biking about. Actually, my mom saved up and purchased an e-bike, bought it, like researched which ones she wanted, which ones were the best, where the best price was, waited for it to go on sale, purchased it, had it for one day. My dad used it the entire day and then went out and purchased his own. At least he purchased one of his own. He didn't have to. It was nice that he did, so that he stopped using hers. Because she could, she could see him just taking it over. My, all my brothers, both my brothers came over and um, all tried it out. I never tried it out. I'm not a bike person. I tried to be. I really did. Because my, both my brothers really like biking and my mom likes biking. And they would go biking and stuff. And I just, I can't do it. It hurts too much. My body is not made for it. It is too bony. I just, I couldn't get into biking. Having bruises in places where there should never ever be bruises. It's not comfortable. I get, I get bruises. The seat gives me bruises. In places. So biking is never an option for me. Ooh, someone else also did the, the risk HP for experience. Never heard about that? Yeah, well. For m most other people, you could get, like, the seat cushions with, like, a bunch of gel on top, and it cushions it, and you can wear the bike shorts that have cushions in it. And I've done all of that, and my body... Yep. Yeah. Like, I even had, like, the giant fat ones that have a gel cushion on top, and they're supposed to be super comfortable. It doesn't work for me. All of the good stuff is gone. And you can get bike shorts that have like pads in it so that you would get a more comfy ride. And I would just receive bruises all the time. So that's a no for me. A 
electric kick bikes. You don't like the tiny seats, but in general, you don't have issues with seats. That's nice. Not being able to sit on something is not very fun. Um, go nar. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe put a rage plate on him? I'm not sure. Um, the ones you stand on? Yeah, I think, I think younger brother. I think uh, Man Peach's youngest brother has one. I've never been on one. But again, I don't really go much anywhere, so I don't need it. But they might be fun. Actually, you know what? With the current state of my feet, that might actually be a bad idea. That would probably be awful. Nara, right, you need to transform a little bit quicker than that. You can rent one of most cities. I think you can rent them in a, in the main one down here as well, too. I think Man Peach was talking about that. And then he was talking about how some people, like, clock them to be faster or something. Team comp is super weird. I like how my thresh is a whisper and he got whispered himself. Have fun with the fines and bike getting confiscated? Yes. As is what I understand that happens all the time. It's not like they're super hard to spot. I don't know, something like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't ever think to do something that would make them confiscate. Same same thing, you know, like with vehicles, you just don't do something that would make them confiscated. It just seems silly. Wasteful. Shimmer scale, shimmer scale, and crit. Well, that's my first win in a while. Still middle of the road, though. 
So many of the rides feel entitled for road use. <sighs> Probably shouldn't talk about that because me and uh, Man Peach always have a completely different uh, opinion. Oof, that team. The blitz crank yoink, that's nice. Like plinking their bell horns so people move out of the way instead of just slowing down your people. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. Really not, I'm sorry. Oh, damn it, he took the Soraka. It's not about that. It's about etiquette. And that is the etiquette. There's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, is that so many people f see that as a... Hi, sleeping bear cub. Thank you for following. So many people see it as a rude thing, but it's actually the etiquette. The thing that can move better is supposed to move out of the way that the thing that can't move. And it's not easy for a bike to just move. That That is the rules of the road. Just like when you're in a boat, the motorized boat moves, the sailboat doesn't. Because the motorized boat can move. Bigger boat doesn't move, smaller boat moves. Just because you're a pedestrian doesn't mean that you're entitled. The walk path is for everyone, though. So, so you just said, so people move out of their way. You said they're entitled. So many of the riders feel entitled for road use. So do you want them on the road or do you want them on the path? If they're on the road, you feel like they're entitled to be on the road. And if they're on the walk path and they're dinging their bell, asking people to move out of their way because they are also on the walk path, then you're mad at them and want them on the road. You got to make up your mind here. If they're on the road, they act like a car. If they're on the sidewalk, they act like they should. You can't have it both ways. Ooh, that bee. That bee frog is huge. How's it going, sleepy bear cub? I'm assuming you're just lurking in the background. Watching my nonsense of a team that doesn't make any real sense. I just went jades and I'm getting wrecked. I mean, the top people are all... Meh. These people all took the... One... Oh, is he losing? Oh, the second one. The second one who spent his HP on experience is losing is lost, is gone. Exactly. I can agree that it depends on the situation. It also depends on how they act. Some of them do act like total douches. But of course that puts a bad name on everyone and you can't judge everyone by, by a few people. Ooh, I can even make you have more speed. I'll just, I'll just stack, stack her up. Cause 
Because why the heck not? You're supposed to take over the, the, the dragon, not Tarek. Have I not been paying attention? Has she been doing that the entire time? Oof, the Aurelian soul with the instant ult. Too bad he's not a mage. He would just eliminate the team. Whoa. Excuse you. Now would be a time to make the dragon an assassin. The ones you're talking about is where there's already space to pass. Yes. But then they sit there and go, get out of my way. And then they try to use that whole, yeah, they're not the ones supposed to move. You're supposed to be the ones to move. And they use it to their advantage when it's unnecessary. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't have moved. Oh, darn. Karma's not helping her out anymore. Oh, and I can move the ash and then I can put the karma in between them all. Oh, that would make so much more sense, but I'm with the Sinna Blitz can't go in because she, like, wrecked me last time. Oh, Nico, come on. Nico, come on. Do the thing. Boop. Stop the dragon. Oh, the dragon cannot be stopped. I'm out this round. I'm totally out this round. Bloop. She's going to do it again. Has it been 15 seconds? Nope, it has not. God, look at my team. They were trying so hard, but they just couldn't get through them. Hi, Pride Claw. <clears throat> I'm doing well. How are you? The family is quiet today. Seventh for having a mess of a team. Yep. Can't believe two people took the sacrifice HP for leveling. That was pretty cool to see. He did really well. And then he grabbed the Soraka, so he was going to get some HP back. That was a clever move. That was a lucky carousel for him to be on. The family is good. The family is quiet. They've actually been very quiet today. They also looked very quiet yesterday, and then they all started acting like monkeys at about 4.30, trying to get to stream, and all the dogs were crying and wandering around, and we went outside and threw the Fizzbee around and spent some time with them, and they were just, they were acting like they had ants in their pants. Huh? How's your family and work? My friend is playing magic right now. His stream tag when he went live was old man yells at cards. High noon squeak. My goodness.
I have the most boring uh, little legend out of all of them. No fancy background. Nothing special. Even the level one high noon squink looks fancier than mine. Ooh, I'm gonna grab coffee while we're waiting for the game to start because someone has a potato at 98%. All good. I said the family is good. Um, yesterday they were acting like it's all quiet here today. And yesterday they were acting like monkeys. Um, at about 4.30. So I'm worried that they're going to act all nice and quiet and sleepy all day today as well too. And then, you know, come 4 o'clock, they're going to act like monkeys. Entirely possible. How about you and yours and work? Everything is good. You're at the office right now, but the weather and the humidity and the heat will be the end of me. I was actually just going to say as well, too, I have like a, a blanket of gray clouds over the sky. There's a little bit of a cool breeze in the air. Seems like everything has just like chilled down finally. So today there's some relief. I'll send it your way. How about that? She always comes downstairs, sits on the couch, very straight, very proud, and stares at me. It's like, what's up? Well, at least send some, if not all. I could have it for a day, and then you can have it. <laughs> Everyone always hates the... The overcast weather. They don't want the gray clouds and the gray sky and stuff. And for me, that's just, it's like beauty for me. I love it. It can, I can even tolerate it better if it's a little warm, as long as there's no direct sun. If it's going to be 20 degrees, but it's going to be completely cloudy the entire time, that's okay. That's okay with me. I could do that. But 20 degrees in full sun... I'm going to hide. He walked out of Jinx's ult. That's not fair. <laughs> How 
How is it for you, K4? I'm just gonna ask. Has it cooled down somewhat for you, hopefully? Really? There are so many characters. If you make an account on EU West, um, you can add me as a friend and I'll play with you. You can play this, TFT, or you can play Summoner's Rift, which is like the five-man thing that you see everyone else play. There's Tales of Runeterra, which a lot of people really enjoy. And then, hey, when the MMO comes out... Did you, do you watch, do you like it? Do you watch the, did you ever watch in Netflix, the Arcane series? The small one season series that they made specifically for Netflix with the characters and some backstory? Exactly. How on earth are they going to manage a class system for the MMO? Which is why I'm really hoping that they make, that they make up like, you know, you can have like your basic type stuff where you have like your, your, your necromancer, your mage, your guardian kind of thing. Like I'm really hoping that they have that and then they put the characters as NPCs or of quest givers and part of the storyline, but you're viewing it from an outside perspective there is a Netflix series. It's called Arcane. Because there's a whole history. Like, they've made a whole entire world with all the different characters. And they all interact with each other throughout the years. Um, and what they did is they made a TV series called Arcane that followed kind of one one group of people who all had interconnecting type stories in the city. It would, it would be. And that's also why they're not really giving us much information about it because they don't want people to get their hopes up. They don't want to, yeah, the weapons define your class. Exactly. And you can have multiple options as well. Well, like you don't have to be a staff DPS glass cannon Ellie. You can be a healing Ellie. You can be a uh, damage dealing dagger dagger Ellie. Same kind of thing. And probably pull some of the item ideas from what we have in the game here, like static shivs and titans, whatever. Yeah, exactly. And that's why they're not telling us anything, because they don't want people to get their hopes up and then have it be like cyberpunk, where people hated it and they released some information and then other people hated it, so they changed it and then it just became a mess and then it became backlogged and then people were upset and yeah. The characters do have many weapon varieties, yes. And there's the opportunity for so, so many worlds, like Guild Wars. Because they have, they have like the two different main cities. They have Terra, They have Demacia. They have a history in both of them. Yes. There is a guy who uses cards. <laughs> TF uses cards. He was actually in TFT once. They put him in TFT. That was fun. Ha ha ha. 
You gotta read his backstory. Have you gone through the League of Legends website and like read the different stories behind the characters? Because they put a lot of time and effort into it. A lot. It would be a unique type of class. They could definitely take some ideas of the characters and put it into people that you could you could emulate, be like, they're your hero and you know, you're learning their ways kind of thing, so you could be a gambler who was tutored by TF and and learn his ways and therefore your weapons are magical cards. They put a lot of work into it. Season 2 is coming, but it's taking them another two years to produce it. So it's not coming out this year, it's coming out next year. Just remember, there's many different games. Like, if you don't like Summoner's Rift, which is the five men versus five men with the map and stuff, and with the different, like, someone plays support, someone plays mid, someone plays jungle kind of thing. If you end up not liking that, that's okay. There's there's ARAMs, which is 5v5, just one lane, fight it out kind of thing. There's TFT. They have different specialty um, modes that come out at some times. Call, one's called Earth. It's ultra, ultra rapid fire. Um, your skills have no cooldown. So it's the same game, but your skills have no cooldown. So people run around like crazy monkeys. And then um, they have another one where it's everyone chooses the same character on your team. Like you vote for a character and whichever one gets the most votes, that's what the t character that everyone is on one team. And then the same thing with the other team. They pick a character and everyone votes and so it's five of one character against five of one another character. It's a lot of fun. They just had one where you play your normal summoners of five versus five and you pick the character that you want, but you get to choose a different ulti from a different character. And that one was fun. Lots of people like Tales of Runeterra. And there's been lots of people who don't even play League um, who just like the anime. Like, Arcane is just... Arcane is quality. I don't know. I'm not sure. I've never asked him. I think... I don't know. He might be negative about it until he it's released and he knows more about it. Just because it's Riot and it's League of Legends and he has no real interest in this at all. He's very particular with his games. Very particular.
It's up to me to convince him. I am incapable of convincing him of anything. <laughs> I convinced him to, to, to date me. I think that was my win. I don't even think I convinced him. He's the one that really did it. It was all him. He was the one that told me he liked me. I told him I loved him first. I'm the one that visited him first. No, I can't tell him anything. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Really on which part? The fact that he told me he liked me first and then I was the one that visited him first? I'm the one that moved to his country? Or the fact that I just can't convince him of anything? Classic Norwegian. <laughs> They're very stubborn, aren't they? They know their own mind. with a gnar with that item that's a gnar with a really annoying item I'm not going to win this one there's no way okay never mind hello okay not as bad as the fins <laughs> I like fins though I haven't met a Finn that I don't like. I don't know why. They are quite lovable. Even though they keep pretending that they're Antisocial and they don't like people and fins are quiet and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. I think that may be how they feel, but it's not how they act. Like another Titans for Alawi or something. Gotta keep her alive a little bit longer. Warmogs? Once you can get to talk with them. True. And the easiest part about that is, you know, being on the internet, that's what they're here for. So. I, I, it could be just the, the ones I find on the internet that I thoroughly enjoy because, you know, they, they talk. <sighs> Not really much for Revels. What level am I? Seven. Mm. Okay, Tome of Trades. I gotta, I gotta stick to what I know, right? Tome of Trades. Mystic. A little bit of magic resistance or more revels. I can make Senna a revel. Green, blue, gray. I could put a bard in. Yeah, 
need a chess piece. Oof, oof, oof. This man hurts. This man hurts. Yeah, that one I wasn't going to be able to clutch with it. tired of waiting. I'm impatient this game. I don't know why. I actually want a bard. A bard would be nice. shouldn't be impatient because I still have 91 HP and I am beating the majority of people but getting slapped by that other guy I did not like that astral bruisers jade shapeshifter scale scorns oh there is a bard no I need a chest piece I need a chest piece there's only one chest piece and it's on a character I don't think anyone is using so, double for me. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone took everything the bee wanted. Poor guy. And... I feel like Argyle Stone Plate would be great, but I'm gonna get some anyways, so I'm gonna go with the slowdown. <laughs> oh, Olaf. Deanna. That is not where I wanted her to shoot her ultimate. But yeah, uh, Pride, if you ever have time and want something to read, just go to the League of Legends website, look up the champions. They all have backstories, and then they all have like a little mini novelette with them and then you can click on like other people who who are part of their story and read their story and their history and their novelette It's very cute. Why is Senna not doing anything? Is that a visual bug? I think that was a visual bug. Because her rage was still going up. I like it. I'm actually going to remove the rebel from her. I'm gonna put it on Tristana instead. And you, sir. Just 
just going to be tanky. Be right back. Enjoy your be right back. Maybe I should have taken the whole revel thing. I didn't expect to get... I only had two rolls at the time. Oh, no, I would have only had three because I, I picked the revel emblem. Two Aurelian souls in my shop. I think even if I sold everything, I wouldn't get enough money to buy both of them. And then what? Just to have an Aurelian soul in the background? I played last game with an Aurelian soul. He insta-casted with the, with, the, with, the, with the items that he had. It was just an instant cast, like immediate. And because all my characters are still grouped up at that point, because I think I was playing Jade, they just, they just popped. They all went to a ridiculously low HP. And then by the time he casted the second one, they were already dead. I got the center back. Of course I did. If I could have one more Jinx, that would be a double. If I could have one more Heimerdinger, that would be a double. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Nomsky's only going to get five cookies. So he's going to be one cookie off from being level able to level up. That's annoying. Smack. Smack. Nar with that item is just... Annoying. He's getting 219. Oh, he's got 400. The amount of HP that he gets back from that. The amount of HP he gets back. This game is going to go exactly the same way as it did last time. Sona's going to ulti in the wrong... Oh, she didn't ulti in too wrong of a direction this time. That helped. Well, they tried to make her... She doesn't... She could have done better if she had different items than that. Is this replay or just the same comp as last time I tuned in? Uh, it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. If you tuned in yesterday, I think I played this like three times. Welcome back, Pride Claw. Consider adding Corky. Um, no. I don't like Corky. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like Corky. He's not my jam. Ooh, they have a Shivana now. Change that one of her characters. Come on, come on. 
Meant stunner before she transforms. Oh, you hit the Shen. Okay, the not Shen. My heavens. Swain. I knew it started with an S. Nomsky just had to spit on him and he was like, sit down, dragon. I'm bigger. Corky over Heimer. Okay. Okay. You're right. I do dislike Heimer. I forgot about it. I forgot about my dislike for Heimer. <laughs> And Corky was only giving one cookie. Oh, oh, oh. Zaya in the back. Nasty. Oh, nope, she can't do it. That was an up and down. Thought I lost it, then I kind of had it, and then I thought I lost it again, and I did lose it. Successful backseat gamer. Excellent. Well, yesterday I had a gentleman who was hanging out with me the entire time, just like talking me through some. And he said he wasn't helping me and I was still the one making decisions, but I felt a lot more confident with him like backing me up and telling me that I'm not being a monkey brain. So I did, I actually managed to have good games yesterday. Um, I didn't lose any LP. In fact, I got some. I was 67 LP with silver one. And then first thing this morning, my first game I didn't lose a single round. Okay, and I did not lose a single round. I was 100% HP. And I, I leveled up to gold. I was just, I was trying to stay calm. I was trying not to panic or do anything silly. Tried to put his good advice to work. I got bored this game and force leveled. Even though I was at like 93 HP and I was like, eh, I'm bored. I want to level. I don't want to wait for my characters anymore. So I leveled. And it might be my downfall, but I'm still doing okay. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm, like, this Jade guy, I can't beat him. The Gnar with that item, the, the Gnar with the chest piece, he just gets, like, 300 HP per second, and I can't kill him fast enough. And then, who was the other dude? Was that him? Yeah, that's the guy with the Gnar. And then I can kill this guy. Oh, he has a Yasuo now. Don't know if I can still kill him. And I just murdered that guy. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, he's got the Yasuo. The Yasuo is not good. I can only hope. Does the Tardus Day Day die? He has to. Yeah, yeah. So we're top three. So if if Mr. Canister kills Fervo, which is I think what will happen next round, I'll get second. Yeah, Nomsky, go. And just out of fun. We're going to swap the board around because this isn't really doing much for me in the terms of helpfulness. Pretty sure I'm against this guy again. I 
It's always a shame when you can't get. <sighs> Look at that. Just one more Alawi or one more Tom Kench and I would have been fine. I would have just been happy. I'm just happy when that happens. Oh my gosh. I just had to move my characters around. Look at that. Yeah. Take that. The other guy's out, right? Oh, no, he won. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wow, he won as well. Okay. I want I don't want a Mirage emblem. Just put it on the quirky, I guess. Or on the Senna. Ah, oh, there she is. If I survive this one. <clears throat> They keep forcing Sona to ult in the wrong direction. Oh, I guess I'll never get to see my gold. My gold Alawi. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, third is also good. Also good. 16 LP in gold four. Heck yeah. All right, I'll play one more game. One more game, and then it's dog stuff and house stuff and all that fun stuff. Today we're doing Dead in Vinland again this afternoon. And then tonight is... We're hanking it up. With Hank. Even though KN doesn't appreciate my bear jokes. <laughs> you came in and shook your head and said it was terrible. You highly disliked one of them. Yep. Was it the positive one? I think that was last night. I did make it to gold! First thing this morning, I was talking myself through it to calm down, to take your advice, to do what you said about, you know, just leveling up. And then I ended up getting... I got a bunch of two stars, and I got um, Cavaliers... And I won my first game today without losing a single round. <laughs> yeah, all the jokes are something bare. But yes, most I can't believe that I won the game with no with no losses. It just all came together. I was so happy. That jokes were shit and that's saying a lot from you.
There were two good ones so far. Have you checked them all out to see to see my jokes? <laughs> well, today you'll get another one because today I play, I play Baron Breakfast tonight. I'm always excited for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I get to play Baron Breakfast. I think we're like nearing the end of the game, though, from what I understand. Darn it, it was the Heimerdinger. That's like the second time I've done that one. Hi, Tails Upon. Guess what? I got promoted up to gold this morning. My first game I won with no, no losses. Thanks. See, look at that. I'm trying to take your advice, Kefak, and it's winning. I'm also trying to take a sliver out of my finger as I'm playing. So my attention is split. Biscuit. Ow, it hurts. There are so many characters and so much backstory and so much text that you actually need a free time, which apparently you don't have for the time being. I told you, I told you that there's, there's so much. They put a lot of effort into it. But at least I was able to share with you something that, you know, could occupy some of your time. Happy to be of service? <laughs> I'm glad you looked it up. Um, uh, like you, you're the one who brought it up. I'm glad you looked into it more. Ow. Oh my god, the sliver is like really in there. something sharper you had a crocodile burger today that's awesome where did you manage to get a crocodile burger from in Finland
Oh, I almost got out the sliver. There's an international event in the marketplace for a few days. Australia has a stall and they're serving crocodile, kangaroo, and camel burgers. Heck yeah. The obvious the Australian animal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, the shield. The shield. The Nunu's gonna try and eat him, and it's gonna work. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you which characters I really liked. You just need some time to check the website to type in their names. Of course. The Silas is better over the Heimer. Okay. Even level one. I mean, I know it's a higher cost, but... Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Mother. Come out. I don't want you in my finger anymore. So if outstage or welcome... We're gonna have to leave it and try to get it again some other time. I think the boyfriend do it. Three. Don't like having foreign objects in me. Activates two bruisers and mana reeves. Yeah. Yeah. Could do this too. I just need another mage. Fine. You survive a couple more hours, Mr. Sliver, and then you're gone. Are you going to go and try a different one since you tried the crocodile? Are you going to go back and try kangaroo or camel? Tried kangaroo yesterday, crocodile today. Gives the energy to go back. And then he could try the camel. Well, you gotta gotta make the energy, man. You can do it. <laughs> Should I give Vlad a rage blade? Or would that suck because his animation for his ult is so long? Wow, I don't think I've seen this board before. That was quite the win animation. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Why is spending is mad OP if you're running Astros as well? Yeah. Free gold. Yep. Rage Blade on the Nami? No. It's either Rage Blade on the Vlad, which I don't think is a smart choice, or just make Nami have a gauntlet. Could also make Alawi have a gauntlet. She's dying though, and I don't like that. I think she's, yeah, she's level one though. I like how always Heimerdinger just like lobs an egg over to someone, and he's like, hey, you, screw you, in the back. Jewel gauntlet on the Alawi, so when she smacks, it's like, bam, bam. Or more like, bam, because she's not a mage. Should I just keep her going a little bit tanky? I'm just gonna steal it right back from you. Ha <laughs> ha! How does that feel? <laughs> Whisper dragon, you jerk. You liked Bram Nardarius, Karen Alawi. Who doesn't like Alawi? Jace Leona Lux, <clears throat> Nasus Olaf, Poppy Rengar, Senjuani. Did you read all of those backstories already? You're in love with Volleybear? That's because Volleybear is beautiful. Volleybear is great. I like him too. What, what? I've said it before. I have like a low-key crush on, on Alawi. Oh, by the looks of it. Okay. There's a guy on YouTube that does a bunch of lore recaps for League. Please share. Prideclaw is finding out his enjoyment of the League characters and the world that they've created and is more interested in them now. So do share. Yes, and I told him about the Arcane series that he didn't know about. Oh, mages. Oh, look at the mages. Mage Nivea and Mage Sona. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I clicked on it. Come on. A masterpiece of animation. I'd have to agree with that. It's It's beautiful. Yes. Well, and I've spoken to many people who don't play League at all and don't really have any interest in it, but they've thoroughly enjoyed the TV show. It's just good. We were talking about the MMO earlier, speculating what they would do with it, what would be good, we think. I respect their decision about not releasing very much information about it because they don't want it to be like cyberpunk where people saw it and then disliked it and then it got delayed and people were upset and then it got delayed again and then people got angry and it's like, you know what, just, you know, release it when it's released. Try not to hype it up for five years. It does show how much love and care they put into it. 
and what people have done with it and like ran with it. People make their own short stories and their own their own spin on stuff and I think it's great when they create something that really inspires a lot of other people. Pretty much the only company that can successfully launch a triple A MMO in 2022. They have the IP and the money to make it into success. From what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong, but this universe has different races, like normal humans, demons, were animals, little were animals, and mechanicals. Yes, humans are a biggest chunk of it. Um, it's funny reading uh, Lulu, like the uh, the the yordles, like Heimerdinger here is a yordle, Tristana, uh, Lulu. They're little people. They're made of energy and light. They don't know where they came from, but they're happy all the time. They're like happy little dwarves. If you read... If you read the story from uh, the newest one, what's her name? Shoot Shadows. Vex. Vex is a yordle who, who something went wrong in her creation. She's angry all the time. She doesn't really like anyone. She likes darkness and doesn't want to be happy. And uh, so she's different from all the other yordles and doesn't know why. Demo can go fuck himself, yeah. <laughs> and so Vex finds one of the other bad characters who likes the shadows and stuff and starts following him and then ends up getting betrayed by him because he was, she thought he was doing it because he liked it and it turns out he was doing it to save his wife and she felt betrayed that he wasn't just doing it because it was the way that he was. He just became that way out of necessity. So then she, you know, she's just all darkness and demons and stuff. Yeah, I I told him about that. He just he's like all excited about it now and has no time to read it. He's at work right now. <laughs> We're just <laughs> Brad Claw's not gonna get any work done today. <laughs> Oh, rise. Couldn't defeat the dragon. Come on, Heimer. Come on, Heimer. Come on, Heimer. Come on, Heimer. Nope. Yeah, that was some great upgrades. Wasn't enough, though. Silly jades. I'm thinking static shiv. Need static shiv. Right in front of me. Narl and Poppy, which are in the list of characters of, like, the same race. Yes, they're Yordles. Hmm. 
<laughs> Nars in this game as well too. Um, he's a jade. Where is he? I don't know if anyone's actually playing him. Nope, no one's playing him yet. So, static shiv on Nami or static shiv on Vlad? <laughs> yes, Baldkayan really likes Snar. Yeah, they're, they, you can call them dwarves. Riot's version of dwarves. Yeah, he's like a little... He's basic, He's like a werewolf that turns into a bigger wolf. Volley Bear gets bigger. He never transforms. He just gets bigger. He's got a big roar attack. Uh, Nar literally goes from being like a teeny tiny yordle. <laughs> Volley Bear is great. Nar goes from being like a teeny tiny yordle to like tripling in size. Volley Bear is a demigod. There you go. <laughs> they put a lot of work into it. Well, I. It would have cost more, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I would have gotten extra money then. Whoops. Okay, next time. Can you tell I don't play that character? Or, or this trait? See, this is Nar. He, he transforms. He just gets a bigger mega form.
<laughs> yes, he looks like this right now because he's part of the Jade group. So he looks like that. Isn't normally what he looks like. I believe uh, Bald Kane will agree with you there, Kefik, because he loves Nar. Yes, he does. <laughs> and Bald Kayan also just runs around going, Nar, Nar, Nar. <laughs> Do I even bother? Do I just continue leveling up my... I mean, Rise leveling up would be great, but... Okay, all my Astrals are gold. Never mind. Never mind that thought. Cled would be the correct choice for best voice lines. <laughs> Cled, Cled is funny as well, too. I love it when you play with him, and on the board, sometimes you'll just hear that... And it's like, oh, he's ulted somewhere. Ramus? You can yeet out Risenheimer and play Aesol if you can two-star him. Risenheimer. Play Aesol? Okay. 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 I pick that guy again. More healing. Can we go with attack speed too? Yeet out Heimer and Rise. If I two-star you, so, okay. Not sure if it's possible, because I am 8 HP. Seventy-seven, sixty-five. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have Needly. <gasps> you sent your cat's picture. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Look at that boy. Pride Claw has a 23-year-old cat. His name is Tobias. He's constantly in that mood. It looks like a mood. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to everyone else, though, but I'm on a four win streak. I thought I was going to lose this a lot sooner. This volley might be the death of me, though. He has a lot of HP. 6,656. Come on, Vlad. Not Vlad. Okay. Okay. Sixth place. I get it. It was not the best team. Who knows, maybe if I had actually um, leveled up using the actual proper way I should have leveled up, it would have been better.
But that was fine, too. I'm still gold. Hello, Void. <laughs> I'm still gold. Sometimes games just don't go your way. That is true, too. Sometimes they don't. That was fun, though. Yeah. Today's been a good day. Got promoted to gold. Heck yeah. Alright. Uh, time for house stuff and dog walking stuff and all that fun jazz and whatnot. See, can't be demoted. I'll be gold forever. Heck yeah. I had a decent game last game, too. Alright. I will see you guys probably in about an hour and a half for some Dead in Vinland if you want to join me. I'm going to see how many people I can kill off the island that time. I've been okay. Didn't kill anyone yesterday. I could get to plat. I could. But I don't like playing meta builds. And then tonight I'm also going to be Hank. In Baron Breakfast. Not the one. That's the one. So I will see you then.